Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you on Tuesdays, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Well, today we are wrapping up our series on insurance. We have been talking all things insurance with insurance expert, Sana Bag. Welcome, Sana. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being here with us. And today's episode, we're going to be talking about some changes in, an, in our auto policies, right? So the first, just to kind of recap, the first three weeks, um, this is a four-week series. So this is week four of four. Yep. And in week one, we covered homeowner's insurance, some key coverages, some optional coverage for your homeowner's insurance. In week two, we talked about some optional policies. So we talked about flood and umbrella policies. Week three, we talked about investment properties and how insurance on an investment property differed from that of your homeowner's policy. And so today we're going to talk a little bit, we're not going to dive deep into auto insurance, yeah. but a few years ago, there were some changes to all of, in Michigan, right? All of our auto insurance policies. And um, so we just want to make sure that you are aware of that and um, understand what that change means and, you know, whether or not you might want to have a further conversation with your insurance rep or Sana about that. So exactly. So what happened? So you said it was a few years ago, right? And there was this, this yeah. change. Um, what, what was the change in the, the auto insurance policies? Yeah. So the change was essentially with the medical coverage that we have on our auto policies. Okay. Um, prior to the change, everyone had unlimited coverage for medical, um, as far as like a car accident, right? Okay. You get so injured. You, yep. Um, you know, you need physical therapy. You need right. to go to the doctor, you know, things like that. Those Or were, even like surgery yeah. or something, yeah. you know. And if someone's yeah. paralyzed or you right. know, anything like that, that went through your auto insurance. Okay. Um, having unlimited benefits. You know, okay. covered you. So that's that. interesting to know because some people may not realize that. You might think like, oh, you get injured and it goes through your medical insurance. But if it, the injury happened as a result of a car accident, then you have this coverage Correct. as part of your policy. Yep, exactly. Yep. And so it used to be unlimited and, you know, everyone mandatorily had to uh, adhere to that. Okay. Um, a couple of years ago, the laws changed. And so now people do have different options. Okay. So, so it's no longer mandatory no to have longer, unlimited coverage. Exactly. Okay. Yep. You still have to have a certain level of coverage and okay. you can opt out, on, you know, it depends on uh, what kind of health insurance you have. Okay. Yeah. So um, there are different levels now where, you know, unlimited is the best of the best. Right. Of course. <laughs> yes. Um, and then you have essentially six options now where okay. you can have unlimited 500,000. 250 and then beyond that you know medicare medicaid comes in um those are different levels and then you can okay. also completely opt out um with okay. a qualified health plan okay so it, i mean it sounds like this would be beneficial what is the reason that somebody would opt out or why did they make this change you know having it be mandatory to making it optional to have this unlimited medical coverage yeah, so basically, I mean, it essentially it comes down to cost, right? Of course. Uh, medical. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't it's come down to money, money, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, you know, it, it was changed just uh, because, you know, obviously a lot of us have health insurance. Right. Um, are required to have health insurance. And so, you know, if, they're, if your health insurance paid for auto accidents, Mm -hmm. Now you have the ability to opt out and let them pay for that. Okay. Um, so it essentially comes down to cost. The, okay. If you opt out or if you go to a lower level, you know, differentiations are just essentially cost. But you do have to be aware of what coverage you have at that point. Okay. Um, because, you know, a lot of times I'll have clients who come to me and, you know, we're reshopping them and yeah. they'll say, yeah, I opted out or, you know, I'm at 250000 and I'll ask them. Did your agent actually explain to you what that means? And they're right. like, no, I don't I don't know what that means. Okay. So, you know, you want to make sure you're comfortable with sure. the level that you're at. Okay. So if you have if you have health insurance, mm -hmm. right? And you get into an accident and your health insurance is going to, you know, take care of if you needed surgery or anything. But I know like my health insurance, so like if I need to go to the chiropractor, I only get so many visits covered right. per year. 
So is that is it similar with the medical coverage for auto insurance where there is I mean unlimited means unlimited, right? Right. Like so yeah. if you need to go more than as many times as your medical insurance will right. al- allow you based on what they're willing to pay. If you have this unlimited coverage then you can go as much as is medically needed. Right. right? So the doctor would okay. tell, you know, prescribe essentially, you know, how many visits you need. Okay. And if you have unlimited coverage, you know, your auto insurance technically would cover okay. it. Right. Okay. Um, that's just going through the claims process. But if you do have limitations, right, like if you do opt out of it um, and have a health plan through your employer, then it will go to your health insurance and then your health insurance, you have to adhere to the, to you know, rules and regulations whatever they have of whatever they place. have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's something to, to check, right? It, right? I mean, I think it's worth checking, you know, your auto, auto insurance policies. And, you know, if you're unsure based on looking at the documentation, maybe put a call out to your insurance agent or broker and say, Hey, what, what do I have? Can you, can right. you explain it to me and make sure that you're comfortable with whatever it is that you do have? Yep. Um, now, you said that somebody can opt out of the coverage. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, how would you how would you do that? Is it just a, a box that you check and say, OK, I, I don't I don't want to have this coverage or what's the problem? So yeah. Basically, what there's do you need to two do? options where you okay. can technically opt out. One mm-hmm. is with Medicare. Okay. Um, so you're completely opting out. In that case, you would have to submit your Medicare card. Um, and then also you would have to uh, sign, you know, the personal injury protection forms, which is what this coverage is called. PIP. Okay. Um, PIP. Yes, that's yes. right. PIP. <laughs> you were going to say it's, it's not like labeled as medical coverage on yeah. your auto insurance policy. It's PIP. So, yep. <laughs> so if you see that on there. That's what it is. PIP. That's yeah. Keep yep. that in mind. That's a fun, that's a fun little acronym. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Insurance agents throw it out all the time. Yeah. Thinking everyone knows what we're talking yeah. about. No one does. No. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what, um, essentially Medicare, you know, you, you have to submit your cards and right. then also you have to sign the form okay. saying, you know, this is the level that I want to be at essentially. Okay. Um, same thing with a qualified health coverage plan. So a qualified health coverage plan would require a letter from your health insurance company and it will have certain requirements that you need to have okay. in order to be able to opt out essentially. So if you do this and you, you sign their form, you provide the documentation, is it you do this once and you're done? No. So every year at renewal, you have to submit the forms again. And if okay. you do not submit the forms, you know, the coverages go back up to unlimited. So okay. if you see a spike in your <laughs> your uh, bill, it's probably that you have to make sure because they want to make sure you're still you're comfortable covered. with it. Yeah. You know, the coverage level that you want to be at. Right. And I know like, you know, over these last few weeks, we've been talking insurance and, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those subjects because you know, nobody wants those things to happen. Even right. your insurance agent, nobody wants those <laughs> things to happen no, to you. <laughs> it's just, but it's, it, it's just that additional level of protection yeah. in the event. So while we don't like to think that, you know, something could happen, you know, as we're driving to work or, or whatever, but, but it could, right. Yeah. And so you want to make sure that you're getting the care that you need. And so, yeah, so it's, you know, in a sense, I, I guess the, you know, the, the state was trying to, to save us some money, but at, at, you know, at the same time, you need to make sure you understand what comes with that savings or doesn't come with it. So, right. Exactly. Yeah. And if you're comfortable with the level right. of coverage, then, you know, so yeah. be it. That's yep. perfectly fine. Yeah. But yeah, you just understanding what coverage you have in case you do get into a car accident is crucial. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, and then also this coverage also includes replacement services too. So like, you know, someone coming into your house to cook for you and clean because you no longer can do it as part of a car accident. So that's, that's kind of, um, when you said replacement services, I was like, because we're talking about medical, we're not talking about the vehicle. Like if you need a yeah. new hip for, her. <laughs> but no, okay. So again, it, yeah. you know, insurance agents yeah, yeah. just throwing out <laughs> words of wisdom that no one understands. <laughs> okay, so but that's interesting. I did not yeah. know that that could be covered as well. If you can no longer, you know, perform some of the daily functions that are necessary, then that could be covered as well. Yep, and that's part so. of the unlimited, and you know, um, 
500, 250 levels, essentially. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Okay. All right. So if you're obviously if you're at the 250 or the 500 levels, then you have up to that amount of coverage. Correct. Unlimited is just what it means. Yeah. Like unlimited. What yeah. what most of us used to have and then they got yeah. rid of for our phones. You know, we used to have unlimited plans and they got rid of them. Then they brought them back. Again. <laughs> yeah, we all need unlimited. Unlimited is a great thing. It's a beautiful thing. So. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, anything else that we need to know, you know, with regards to this, I think uh, that's. That's yeah, a, that that co- uh, covers it. There yeah. are some other nuances, but again, reach out to your insurance agent yep. or feel free to reach out to me and I would be happy to explain it. All right. That's great. Well, thank you so much. And again, if you missed any of the episodes in this series, there's four episodes. The first one, we covered homeowner's insurance. The second one, we covered some optional policies with flood and umbrella insurance. The third, we covered investment properties. And then today we talked about PIP. <laughs> Pip with there's your auto a, insurance. There's a quiz. I like. Yeah. <laughs> what does it stand? Yeah, for, we Tracy? should do a quiz from a quiz from the series of some of the acronyms that we covered. FEMA, FEMA, <laughs> FEMA, and Pip. We so. still did look that up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, well, thank you so much, Sada. This has been so much fun and so much great information. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. And um, thank you, Tracy. This so. was awesome. I loved it. Love having you. So So thank you so much. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Tea with Tracy.